Hey everyone, my name is Ben, and you're listening to A Daily Dose of Anguish. This is a short, simple podcast that you can listen to every day to improve your English. You can find the transcripts for all episodes and more on benslanguagelab.com. I'm glad you can make it today. In this episode, we're going to be talking about pub food. Pub food. What is what is pub food? Um, pub food is what we refer to. Well, it's food that you can find in a pub, like a uh, which is not quite a bar, but it's sort of a a mix between a bar and a restaurant somewhere in the middle. You can they're fairly common in the U.S., but definitely not, it's not where they're most well known. Pubs are very common in other. Uh, parts of the of the world, especially in parts of Europe, there's more pubs than people, almost, um, and they have a bit of a of a similar vibe in a lot of the um, throughout a whole country, um, and that is very much true for the U.S. Pubs have a specific reputation, which is different from other countries, but they all end up being fairly similar, fairly the same in what they do. They usually serve beer as their main thing. They typically also have other drinks and wine and stuff, but beer is the main focus. Um, I don't know where the word pub comes from, but it also it sort of has a, a similar connotation in the U.S. to the word brewery, so a place where bre- brewed is beer. Beer is brewed, um, which is a brewery, and the pub is typically the restaurant connected to the brewery. So, for example, a brewery that I love in um, Oregon is called Deschutes Brewery, which is named after the river, D E S H U T T E S brewery. Oh no, D E S C H U T E S um, brewery. It is a fantastic little brewery that is. Well, it's not even. It's actually pretty big. Uh, it's a pretty big brand, and they have really good beer. And I believe they are in. Um, where are they actually? The the actual brewery because they have ones in Portland, but like, where is their main one um this is very much a side tangent but i don't know where the original one is bend oregon that's where it is in bend oregon which is a um pretty small super small country in the middle of the u.s middle of the u.s middle of of my god i can't speak middle of oregon um and that is very much a brewery but all of their breweries have pubs connected to them where you can go eat, drink, hang out. And they're usually bigger establishments, bigger restaurants with lots of space, lots of tables, because breweries are typically made to be pretty big because they have to have tons and tons of beer in them because it sits there for a while. So they end up being pretty big, which is why they also end up being in smaller parts of the country. So like small towns or whatever. Um, There's plenty of little breweries all over Oregon. And they often have really good restaurants. But the food that the restaurants serve is typically pretty similar. It's usually fried, focuses on um, lots of flavor, and kind of ignores any sort of health or whatever kind of thing you might want to uh, focus on in that way. Um, So the classic for the U.S. is a burger. Uh, Burger and fries is absolutely core to the the pub food experience and a good burger is is very good there's lots of different kinds of burgers but the sort of standard is um bacon not bacon what what am i saying i cannot phrase things that i know it's a, a patty a beef patty which is usually pretty thick so a quarter pounder or a little bit thicker third of a pound um, and then there is lettuce, tomato, pickle, onion, usually red onion, um, and cheese is also very, very common on a, on a pub burger. Um, a lot of the pubs that I've gone to in the U.S., which are usually a little bit, not they're not fancy, it's like they're a little bit nicer, is like what I want to say. It's this weird mix between, because, hmm, how do I explain this? Because pub food is supposed to be sort of cheap, fast, delicious, um, fatty, greasy, that sort of thing. But in the U.S., it often has this additional level of um, f- of niceness to it. Like the, the food at Deschutes Brewery is very good. It's very uh, – it's not just good because it's fried like that. It's good because they use good ingredients. It's not cheap. Um, and it, they use like nice cheese, for example. 
And so when you think of a cheeseburger, you might think of something that's it's very different from a pub burger. Um, like a McDonald's, what are they called? Mc, McChicken? No, that's the chicken one. I never go to Mc, McDonald's. I don't, I don't think I've gone in like 20 years. What are they called? Mc, the, the main burger thing. Am I just dumb? Mick Ah I can't think of the 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 most famous hamburger in the world, the name of it. You know what I mean, okay? The the famous hamburger that everybody has heard the name of. Um that's not what you're going to get in a pub. You're going to get something a little bit of a higher quality, often with some nicer cheese, with maybe homemade pickles, things like that. But there's also plenty of other things to order, right? Fish and chips are also very common. Um, you can usually get a steak of some kind. You can also, it almost always has potatoes. Potatoes are often the core of, of a good pub food because you want a side. That's something that's very common in the U.S. is to have sides with your food. So you get like a main thing, so maybe a burger, and then a side or two, whether it's coleslaw or vegetables or french fries or beans or broccoli. There's lots of different sides that you can get. And that to me is the other um, hallmark of a, a pub food. Hallmark, by the way, is like a thing that feels very um, standard for something. So it's, 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 it's a hallmark of pub food is that it comes with sides. For example, every pub food comes with sides. So when you think of pub food, you think of sides, for example. Um, and the hallmark for me is definitely sides and beer. Sides... There's a lot of different ones, and they often are very, very good. This is like this is how I very I judge a restaurant is if their sides are good, because if their main course is good, yeah, that's easy. You can make a burger be good. That's not hard. You can make fish and chips be good. That's not hard. But can you make your coleslaw be good? Can you make your baked beans be good? Can you make your macaroni and cheese be good? Because that those are the details that really matter to have really good pub food. Um. So I definitely recommend you you look out for those. Other pub sides are things like chips. Even like just p uh, potato chips are very common. Um, kettle chips are another sort of style that you might find. Mashed potatoes, pickles just on the side. God, I love a good pickle. Pickles are so good. Um, plenty of other things that I can't think of right now. Vegetables, whatnot. Um, and then there's also other fried things. Oh, that's the other big one. Tater tots. Aha. Tater tots. So tater tots, I don't know if are that common outside of um, the U.S., but you can find them in a lot of places in the U.S. as an alternate to French fries. Um, tater tots are basically French fries, but instead of being shaped into um, like whatever the shape of a french fry is like a, a, like a what is the shape of a french fry a, like a stick i guess they are made into much smaller uh pieces so they're kind of not ground up they're they're grated they're made very small into little like flakes of potato and then they're made into little balls or little um nuggets almost and then they're fried and these are called tater tots Tater comes from potato. A tater is a is a short name for a potato, um, and a tot is it is a word for like an infant. But I don't know where the rest where if that that's actually the same root as <clears throat> tater tot or not. But yeah, uh, and those are really good. I actually prefer them to uh, French fries because they are <coughs> sorry, geez, because they are crispier. They have more potato flavor. And they pick up sauce better. Um, I like French fries too, but yeah, I would definitely choose tater tots if, the, if I can. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Pub food is pretty simple. There's, there's more to it. There's like uh, burgers, hot dogs, things like that. You can kind of just look up some restaurants or just some images even and kind of get an idea. There is variety and choice and things that you can choose from, but it's all kind of the same vibe when you order it's not you're like you're gonna get something totally different um you can also get roast meats chickens whatnot um sometimes there's seafood if it's a 
um, if it's closer to the sea and you have a good, they have good access to that. Um, but yeah, I don't really have anything else specific to add to the list of, of good pub food. But definitely, if you're in the U.S., try to find some good breweries that have nice um, brew pubs connected to them. Get some beer, get some good food, have a good time, and um, enjoy it. But that's all that I really have for today. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this episode about me talk about food because I am kind of hungry. Um, and I hope that you come back again tomorrow for another episode. And I will see you then. Have a fantastic rest of your evening or day or whatever. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.